Hey guys, Kilito here. Got a, another knife for you today. Um, this is the EMPK Savage. Um, the customer ordered this. Wanted a uh, wood handle. So I got the wood handle with the uh, Hunter Orange liner. Looks pretty sweet. Removable handle and uh, lanyard tubes pressed into one side of the handle just like my previous video of the large chopper. This thing turned out pretty good. Pretty nice on this side. There you can see the logo. This side, um, not the greatest. Not the greatest. A little some smudges on there. Yeah, fudged up the grind a little bit on that side, but does not impede the performance. So, got a sheath here, um, and they also come with one of these, which is pretty tight in here, so it'll still be nice and good fitting. As you can see, wood with the Hunter Orange liner. So this is actually African Wingate wood. Don't know much about it. Got it from a friend. Works pretty good. So you can see here's his matching fire steel to go with his knife. And um, the back edge is really sharp too. So you can use the back of the knife, but you can also use the uh, the sharpening troil if you if you'd like. Imagine that'd be pretty aggressive. So that's cool. So I'm getting them there, slowly but surely. Um, got a couple other ones for a couple of my next knives I'm finishing up. These are going to be fire steels as well. You can see on these ones here, I got a G10 in between and two of the liner colors. So here's an OD liner for Mr. Killer Elite here. He said he wanted an OD liner. and. Uh, Here's your scales, dude. I'm working on them, don't worry. I don't forget about you. But I still got one more to finish up ahead of you. And that is my other five inch knife. Or six inch, sorry. My other six inch one. This is basically how this one looks underneath. Um, here's the scales. These are just bolted together because I was finishing up this part right here, so. You know, this one's just going to be orange and black, just like my other one. Um, I think I'm going to acid wash this one. The guy who bought that one didn't didn't want it acid washed, but... I don't know, after he saw my last one, he kind of... Kind of liked the acid wash, so... Maybe he'll change his mind. But, that's the good thing about removable handles is... You can just remove the handles and... Acid wash it. Or... If you fudge it up real bad and you need to re-acid wash it, it makes it easy to do. Or touch up the grind. So, I don't know. That was just just my thought on the removable scales. So, there you go. You got a little bit of got a little bit of shock cord there. So once it does loosen up, it won't won't be so loose. Teeth works really good, especially with this wood one. Press those holes in really hard, so I mean, it's a light bit of rattle, but man, it's, it's in there pretty snug. So this is a finished one. Taking it to the guy tomorrow, and um, hopefully we'll have a happy customer. Unfortunately, guys, um, this is the only this is the only one I have available still. As you can see, he's been back from heat treated. Uh, cryogenically treated from Texas Knife Maker. This N690, all these blades, by the way. Um, here you go. Here's the 4 inch one. So it's still for sale. Um, yeah, it's going to be 150 But, like I said, you get the sheath, you get, you know, your removable handles with the fat um, lanyard hole. You'll get yourself a fire steel matching whatever color you want. So if you like the OD, I got a whole block laid up here so I can make maybe three more OD ones and then I got um, 
the orange and black ones here too, so if you want orange liners. So anyways, thanks for watching guys.